Hey guys, today you're going to learn how to track your PayPal orders inside of ClickFunnels. So you're going to want to start on your ClickFunnels. Under your, your funnel settings, you're going to scroll all the way to the bottom where it says third party membership access. Click create a new product. And here you're going to pull up your, you're going to create a product. So right now we don't have to worry about anything right here except for this um, billing integration right here. So make sure you select PayPal. Then you can scroll all the way down and copy this web webhook URL that you see right there. It's going to look a little faded, but just copy that full thing right there. Then go back to your funnelish funnel, go to your funnel settings, and then under here where it says webhook URL optional, that'll probably be blank for you right now. You're going to want to paste it in there. Click save changes. So now what we're going to do is we can go back and create this actual product. So Going by the same exact product I have here, here's my test product. I have the name test and it's $15. So I'll do the same name, same price. And then you're going to want to scroll down to this third party cart integration. And to get to that, you scroll down on your product in Funnelish. Under Click Funnels Tracking, you click Cart Product ID and copy that there. Then we can head back, paste that in there. Now keep in mind, mine's a test, so yours is going to come up as a different name. And now you can make any edits if you want a fulfillment email, integrate your email, shipping, anything like that. Update product. And now when you have an order bump, you're going to want to do a similar thing. But first of all, go to your product in Funnelish, click on the order bump. Right over here, you're going to click, if this is your order bump, turn that switch on. And then click Save Changes. And then you want to go back to your main product. Now you scroll back down to ClickFunnels Tracking. And now here we have Cart Product ID plus Order Bump. So we're going to want to copy that same exact code right there. Go back to our ClickFunnels. And what you do here is you're going to want to create a new product in ClickFunnels that is your Order Bump plus the price of your main product. So here we're going to type in the two names of them. So I have awesome test product plus test. So those are both of the two products, the main product and the order bump. Going to click PayPal again. And for the amount, you're going to want to put both of them together. So I had a $15 product and a $10 product. So it's $25 total. Again, you can make any of these changes here you want. And then in the third party integration, that's where we're going to paste that one, that specific order bump code that we grabbed from our funnel ish. Click create product and then you're good to go.